Good morning, everyone. We're in Cebu, and this is it. This is the day we're going to hang out with this special guy and go canyoneering. Harris Jill Espacio is 32 years old. He lives in Barangay Matutino, a municipality of Bajan in the province of Cebu, Philippines. He lives in his family's ancestral house together with his mother. His father lives over 450 miles south in the city of General Santos on the island of Mindanao. He has one older sister who lives in Cebu City and one older brother who lives in Winnipeg, Canada. Harris graduated from a school for deaf mutes. That is why he can communicate in written English. He starts his day with a hearty breakfast. He brushes his teeth. And prepares himself for the five minute walk to work. Harris has been a cannoneering guide for more than six years. According to the company he works for, he has the highest rated positive feedback from his clients. Despite being deaf, Harris has never dodged challenges in his life. Even at the early age of four, he was hit by a motorcycle while riding his bike, sustaining injuries that hospitalized him for 30 days. Today, there remains an indelible reminder of the toughness in the form of a scar on the upper left area of his head. Harris usually gets ready in the morning. We just saw him come in right now. He's gonna prep for his clients today. So he's gonna get his gear ready to go and um, clean it all up. We're gonna take, we're gonna just find out what he goes through every day as he gets ready to get to accept his guests as they come in. It's a very dedicated job, it's a lot of work, but it seems like it's a lot of fun. So we have helmets, life vests, special shoes that they have. As part of his job, Harris makes sure that every piece of equipment from head to toe has been thoroughly inspected and conforms with all the safety protocols for canyoneering. Each day, Harris waits to greet all the canyoneering guests, whether they are his or not. Harris is the only guy that does this. What a team player. He helps with the parking, and is totally hands-on. Oh, you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Harris gives his sign he is ready to gear up two guests. He starts with the shoes. Next is the vest. And finally, he gears himself up. It's like a team effort over here, as you can see. So there's other guides helping out with some of the explanations. And uh, it's a whole team effort here. But everything is for the safety of the guest and for their total experience and enjoyment. I'm walking to do the canyoneering. So, Jared's customers have decided to do a zip line, save some time walking down to the canyoneering entry, entry part, and we're going to find out how they enjoy that as well. This is totally unexpected. Change of plans. We climbed all the way up to the zip line here. They're gonna save some time going canyoneering. They're gonna take the zip line down. Enjoy this spectacular view and ride, and then basically walk 100 steps to the start of the canyoneering. So, well, enjoy this view. Okay, 
Jarvis is going down, he's gonna follow his guest. Of course he's gotta follow it, he's gotta meet him down on the bottom right here. Cool as a cat. This guy could probably just jump off this thing without any of the uh, safety gear. Everything's green. So you, I just, I'm not even riding and I feel exhilarated. It's, it's just hard to explain. When we're walking down. The Jerris's clients are, have just saved themselves a 30 minute walk by taking the zip line all the way down. From there, he's basically gonna take about a hundred steps to the start of the canyoning. Anything you want to say about your guide? Hey. Oh, he's fantastic. The best number, hey. like number one guide. Yeah. Okay. Well, we want to thank you. We're glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your stay. We're very, very blessed to have met you. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you some of the exit area of the canyoneering as well, where it's just beautiful scenery. So take this then. All right, guys, you can see in back of me, it's dark now. So it's a long day, special day with uh, Harris and his client. You heard it from them. Basically, being deaf does not hold him back. He knows how to make sure that his clients have a great, great time here. This channel is called Sip Rice. It has rice in it. We all know in the Philippines, rice is life. So we're gonna give a bag of life as a thank you over to Harris and uh, present it to him. Harris, we'll give you some rice. Thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. Well, guys, that ends the video right now. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more content like this, please hit the like and subscribe button right here and join us on our next adventure as we explore Cebu.